with the Taste of Disability dinner, the students are assigned a disability, and with that disability, they have a challenge, a task to do. So they were asked to come over to the table and pick up an envelope based on the type of disability that they had. And in the envelope, it gave the student a task to do, and they had to complete that task, come back to the table to collect a t-shirt and a raffle ticket. Um, for the visually impaired, they were asked to write down their name and email address on a piece of paper. And when you are visually impaired, it's very difficult to follow the lines because they were very small. Tonight, my disability was partial visual impairment. Basically, we wore different goggles. Mine was that I could only see halfway through. So half of it was totally murky where I wasn't able to see through and the other half I cut. And it was definitely challenging. Uh, I was... I was blind for the night. I was, I had goggles on as I could not see what I was doing. Most difficult thing was just moving around without, you know, knowing where you're going. It's, it's stressful. If they were in a wheelchair, their task was to go to the restroom and grab a paper towel out of the dispenser and then bring, put it in the envelope and bring it back which was kind of a challenge because the bathroom here has two doors to go through and there's no push button. And the paper towel dispenser is pretty high. My disability was, I was put in a wheelchair for the night. Um, my biggest challenge was going to actually go to the bathroom because going out of the door was a bit hard. If I didn't have anybody to help me, I had to figure out how to exactly, you know, make an angle or, or situate myself so that I can get straight out of the door or even cross over the threshold it took a little more work than I thought. I think that it's pretty hard, you know, and people don't realize it because you're not in their shoes, you know, but now, I mean, me sitting here, it feels like I, I kind of feel bad because I think I take certain stuff for granted. You know, just being able to open a door or get my own food, I don't think, like, I never thought that would be such a hard process if I couldn't use my legs. You know? Um, for the people that had their arm in a sling or we made them an amputee, they had to simply just open up the envelope. And, you know, a lot of them came back to the table and said, there's nothing in here. And we're like, the challenge was to open the envelope. Since I used my right arm to, like, eat most, using my left hand, it was, like, very undominant. So picking up the food was very difficult. Um, drink, drinking, like, drinking my juice was very difficult. Um, another challenge was for our hearing impaired. They had to talk to somebody and ask questions and then write down those answers, which was kind of hard to do because they couldn't hear. It was amazing. Being a moderator and actually having disabilities myself, I know how difficult it is to have a disability, but what I was really shocked about is how everyone was like, at first, you know, some people had the blind, they decided to be visually impaired or, you know, not being able to use one of their arms. But what really made it so surreal for them was when they were going through the actual task or the challenges. And I honestly feel like a lot of people that was on my table and that I was around really, it changed their perspective on how people with disabilities are and how strong they are. Instead of having pity for them, they're like, wow, they're strong people. How do they make it day and day and, you know, throughout the school or throughout their education or throughout life itself? You know, we had two, two people on my table that were blind and they were like, oh my God, as soon as we had the glasses on, we wanted to take them off immediately because I can't see, I'm running into things. They, their biggest fear was running into things and they were kind of like freaking out at some point because they didn't hear, they couldn't see anything and they had to really concentrate on their surroundings and what was going on around them and their question to me was, how do you do this? You know, how are you able to do what you do? And I'm like, you have to accept it and like I've done and you know, make the most of it and don't make it a burden. just a beautiful night. All, hearing the testimonies of the veterans really touched me. Well, what I found exciting tonight uh, here at FAU was the fact that we were bringing awareness about service dogs to, about with people with different disabilities and the fact that we can bring together so many disabilities 
and show the work that can be done for veterans and people with visual impairments and seizure disorders. I, I just think it's awesome that, that FAU was be able to bring all these people together. Well, I had one student that came up to me and said that um, this, listening to the stories from the veterans with the PTSD um, made her cry and um, it brought back a lot of uh, memories for her with her family and so she kind of got a lot out of that and knowing now what her family was going through with her, I think it was her brother, um, really had an impact on her and so that was really cool. I thought it was really great how tonight we brought together so many different people with different disabilities and not just people with disabilities that you can see, but people with PTSD or epilepsy and different types of disabilities that are most of the time invisible. And, you, and to some people, they may look at the dog and think, why does this person have a dog? And maybe make judgments toward them. But this dinner helps people realize that even though I don't see the person's disability, that this I need to respect that this person has a dog for a reason and just know that I need to respect that and understand and not make judgments just because I can't see the disability. And I think that was really great. A lot of students afterwards came up and thanked us for the event and said that the whole entire event was um, life-changing and the experience of having a disability was um, just an amazing experience for them and now they have a new perspective.